Hi, my name is Aaron Wolf, and today I'm going to show you how to play a very interesting sort of drone and melody style on the guitar that I think is very easy for beginners to get into. Most people try to think about all these complex things you could do on the guitar, you can play all these complex chords and patterns, but at a beginning level, the goal is to figure out how to be as musical as possible right from the beginning. Now we have two strings in standard guitar tuning that are tuned to the same letter. This is the, an E string and this is an E string. So we can play this one as sort of the melody string, and this one can be a drone in the background. And if you just pinch the strings with fingers like this, you can get a very nice effect. Now, we need to use your left hand to play in a good, nice technique. I recommend definitely having some space here. I don't like seeing this sort of a habit it makes when your sort of hand is jammed up against here. It's a little harder to move around. I don't want to be strict or dogmatic about it, but try to have a nice on the tip of the finger playing. And then we can do all sorts of various techniques. You can slide or you can do pull-offs where I sort of pluck the string after I've played. It's a lot of variations. But the important thing is to kind of get a sense of the notes from the open string E to the 12th fret, which is the halfway point of the guitar, right where you have the E again. So this we call the same letter name, E again, and this is E. Now within this, there's many different cultural traditions of how you might do this. If, if you actually had movable frets, you might even use some of the pitches between these particular notes on the guitar. Uh, this set of tunings that we have on the guitar is the standard Western set we call equal temperament. But let's stick with that for now. We can say that another special spot, besides the halfway point, is the two-thirds point. So here, this is two-thirds of the string length. There's two thirds here. This is, I've cut off one third of the string. That happens at the seventh fret. That has a very nice blended sound. Blends nice with this open E. So does this 12th fret again, the E or the open E. So that's our fundamental set. Open E, this, we, it's actually a B, but the two thirds point of the string and the halfway point of the string. And then we pick not all of the pitches, but some combination of the pitches so that we have enough to make it interesting, but not so much that it gets confusing. If I play all of the notes all over, it just can start sounding really messy and, and hard to follow. But if I pick a small set of the notes, so for example, let's go with the second and third fret, and I'll go with the sixth fret and the seventh. The seventh one I always want to include because it's that two-thirds spot that blends very nicely. And then maybe I'll add uh, one more. How about the 10th fret? So in this case, I have a scale that sounds like this. Now that particular blend of notes is just enough that you could follow it and you can kind of get used to hearing that set. It's a nice number of notes, six notes. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then the seventh one is the one where we're, it's E again. So we'd call that a six note scale. Sticking with that scale, I can listen to how each of these notes blends with the background E. It's sort of an interesting sound. It doesn't sound resolved, but it's nice. That has its own quality. This one has a sort of tension to it because it's so close to the two-thirds note that's going to blend nicely. So it's a nice pair. And then I have this one at the 10th fret. That has a nice blend to it. And of course, the halfway point blends very nicely do it without a steady rhythm like this. And I could start making interesting melodies that way. Or I could keep a steady beat by kind of having my thumb go here like this. And then I can play notes at the same time with my fingers if I practice. I could basically just play this note and then play the melody as much as I like. And I just play.
play this low E whenever I feel like it's... I need it back, it's kind of faded away too much. Now that's a nice way to play, you can do all sorts of creative things. This particular scale is just one of many, many different combinations you could use. You generally want something around five, six, seven, eight total pitches, because that's a good number for people to follow. When you get towards, like I said, all of the notes, uh, it's just a little too much for people to follow all at once. And if you have too few, then there's not enough room for creativity. Well, we can actually be creative with just a couple notes, but at some point it's nice to have a good mix. One thing that I like doing with this is you can actually play uh, melodies that you might recognize. So if I play something like, uh, I play a scale that's a more common scale, there's a major scale, I could play a melody like this. some level that's a boring simple song that everybody knows but I can really make that very interesting by just sticking with this simple system of just a background drone and nice melodies There's really an endless amount of variations and possibilities here. Even just playing the simple scale just in order and listening closely to the way that notes blend is a musically powerful experience. Something like this. Mm -hmm. 